Hi, AD. Welcome to our home. I'm Philip. And I'm Philip's wife, Pernil. Come on inside. Usually in the weekends, we walked around this neighborhood and we years back, we f- fell in love in this house. We needed to recreate it and get it back into its original shape. Basically, we stripped the house into the barely rocks and stones in the house and everything is that you see, we've kind of built all over again and built up from scratch. It's been like a really intense and wild adventure. So standing here today feels so special. So we created this more lounge area in our hallway just to people feel welcome already when they enter the house. And we've got this amazing lounge chair from Soriana. Also, we have this console table by a Danish artist called Lisette Rutzau, and it's made in onyx, which is a stone. And I love that the play, that it has different colors in it. It's so beautiful. And practical, because if you lose your keys like I do, it's perfect for placing it right here. (laughs) Speaking of practical elements, this is actually a chair. You can sit on it, and it's kind of a toy for the kids. They love to play around with it. It's from a Norwegian brand called Varia. And this is the only green element we have in the house. It's a fig tree and I'm so happy that it's still alive. I'm hoping it's gonna last a little longer than only a few months. Okay, I'm off. See you later. This was not the end. This is only the beginning of uh, our house tour. So please follow me for the rest of the house. So this is our living room. And what I love about this room is all the daylight coming through the windows down here. We live north of Europe, which means that we don't have that much daylight during the winter. So it's so appreciated to have that much light. Down here we have our sofa table, which we bought vintage. It's by Mario Bellini. It's made out of uh, travertine stones. And what I love about this is that it has columns underneath, which matches perfectly together with the columns that we have in the house, which is the two single pieces left in the house that we didn't take out during the renovation. So right now I'm sitting in my soft spot, which is this couch by Mario Bellini. It's called Camelionda, and it's a couch that I've been dreaming about for like years. Um, What I love about it is that it's actually a couch that is comfortable. Yep, it's super comfortable. The whole family can be here. You can kind of slouch, you can lay down. I mean, like, it's actually really hard to find a super nice couch that is comfortable. And this definitely is. I've always been quite obsessed with chairs. Um, For the last 10 years, I've been collecting chairs. And this is my first purchase. It's by a Danish architect called Christian Wiener. It's called the Flag Helia chair. Um, What is special about it is You know, right now for me, the pattern that is surrounding the different textures of materials. We use it quite often when we read like bedtime stories for our kids or just hang out. Like you can sit in the middle and you can have two around you, which is quite cozy. Second object we have over here is also by a Danish uh, designer called Thomas Fuss Poulsen. Um, He did a lot of pieces for the old Celine stores, which I personally still adore. It's actually a table below called the diamond table. And I love these, you know, more organic shapes on these in possibly the most colorful thing you will see in the house. I've always dreamed about having a marble dining table. And I love that, you know, the colors of this just makes it so playful and works really well with the colors in our house. On the table, we have some pieces that I've been collecting for some years. They're by this incredible Danish couple uh, called Greeks. All of this is vintage. I've bought it on different auctions and vintage houses as well, but I love it as it has like this organic shape. It almost looks like it's got waves inside. And you know, this looks also like something picked up by the water, just having like the shape on the top of this teapot. Especially, I'm super excited about these cutleries. I mean, like, look at this knife, how beautiful it is. Um, So for me, it's like the small details that you kind of, that your eye is seeing somewhere. It's so important for me to have that as well. It's not only the big objects in the house, but for me, it's all in the details. 
Lastly, I have these chandeliers that I inherit from my father. It's actually chandeliers that we light up every night when we have dinner. And I just love that it brings this cozy element in the house. This chandelier is called Cloud 19. It's by a New York studio called Apparatus. It kind of reflects, you know, it looks like what it's called, a cloud. Softness and the roundness, you know, of, of the organic shape is just something that really works well into our house. It's something that I truly enjoy watching every day. So this is the heart of our house, which is the kitchen. We actually call it a non-kitchen kitchen. So we made it as simple and minimalistic as possible. We love to cook. I mean, we have three kids, so of course we spend a lot of time in here. And then, you know, it's easy because we have like our dining room table just next to, which makes everything so more flexible. Like every time we have guests, you know, you can always be part of the conversation instead of being, you know, hidden back somewhere in the house where you make the food and then you pop out once in a while, say, hey, here's the cheese or whatever. So we have an open bar here every Friday, tequila shots, wine, whatever you want, <laughs> the more the merrier. <laughs> This is our guest bathroom and what makes this room very unique is the floor. It's inspired by a Mexican museum called the Jumix House where they have this incredible colorful marble floor and we've chosen different stones. It's an onyx stone, it's travertine and then it's marble and the combination of the colors just makes this room very special. This is our James Bond door. It's the entrance to a very secret room. Something very special is behind, but I'm not going to share that today. Bye. Welcome to my office. <laughs> so this is our office space. Um, we've actually spent a lot of time in here during lockdown. Um, and it's been so nice to have a place where we can have all our books and inspiration and magazines and like a workstation. And our chairs are the most comfortable office chairs ever. They are by Charles Eames called soft pad chairs. And you can, I love that you can do the twist. So you can just, you know, keep an eye on the kids if they're back there. And, oh, uh, you can hide. Oh, you can hide <laughs> <laughs> you can roll away. Yeah. One of the unique pieces in our office is by far this lamp. It's by Euphoric and Parachilna. And what's really unique about it is that it looks like it's breathing. It could almost look like, a, you know, a jellyfish beneath the water. And then we have our Brazilian cowboy. Um, it's actually a photographer from Denmark and a good friend of the house as well called Nikolai Müller. I think that, you know, deep within there's a small cowboy, you know. <laughs> Hiding in us all. That's also why we have a pair of cowboy boots on, uh, on the, the shell. Thank you for visiting. Uh, Thank you, you for having me. <laughs> so when we created the house, we really wanted to make like something special when you enter the house. And that's why we've designed and created this incredible shell-shaped staircase. I love the organic shape. I love that the curves is not only all the way down to the basement, but it continues up in the room on the first floor. I also love that when you come in, like you have the light coming from the ceiling where they see small birds that are placed in the stucco. Um, I think that is such an like surprising element. And I love that the eye can continue to travel within all these small details. <laughs> This is our bedroom. When you enter this space, it feels like you're in a cloud. And when you work in a creative way, but like both me and Philip do, it's nice to have a place where your mind can calm down. And uh, that's the reason why we've chosen that everything in this room has the same color or shade. It's like so calm and easy. I love this couch we have here. Um, again, about the organic shapes that we really love. It goes again in this shape and in different levels. It's by the seed. The kids love this couch. I mean, they sit up here and then they slide all the way down to the end. Let's go to the bathroom. I'm excited to show you that. It's our bathroom that is 
completely made of travertine stone. And then we decided to have this big mirror in the end, so it feels like it's endless in a way. Or just me seeing myself in a bigger mirror, it's also nice. <laughs> We actually spend a lot of time every night bathing our kids in the tub. It's a place where, you know, we all really like relax and we have good talks and, you know, it's, it's such a relaxing time just to, you know, do the same routines every day with the kids and, yeah, they really love having a bubble bath. I think every kid does, right? So this is Billy's room. And um, he's so lucky that he's got the most amazing uh, bunk bed, which is a small tree house. He is so excited about it and loves to be in it. I mean, every time he has friends over, they take the mattress out and they jump out of the bed and they do a lot of fun stuff in this one. So, and it's also really cozy and you feel like a little, you know, your own little tree house inside your house. I also really love this um, Keith Herring chair. It's like a little piece of art within, you know, a kid's universe. I mean, I don't mind it getting bumped or whatever. It's not because it's something that they should, you know, keep their hands off. But it's just a cute element in the room. And it's also something that has color in it, which is unusual in this house. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming by. It's been a true pleasure showing you around our home. Bye.